What's up, Faith Squad? I'm hot, y'all. Woo! It is really hot. I had to crack that window and everything, y'all. Happy Sunday, family. Work with me for a minute, y'all. Y'all know how it is setting up. And if you don't, you need to. Let me pour me some H2O. Y'all know that's what we have. Happy Sunday, family. Hope y'all had a good weekend. Hope everybody's staying safe. Enjoying your time with your family and your children and your friends, even though I know they probably getting on your nerves with kids. But we're here. And y'all yeah, see it. We're having a seafood boil. So we got some little scrawny snow crabs I finally was able to get, y'all. I appreciate them, but they scrawny. We got some corn on the cob. We got some turkey sauces that I done sauteed up. We got some eggs, potatoes, and corn. We got our lemons back here. We got some sweet peppers and some cucumbers. And y'all already know we got that smack delicious. Look at that. Yeah, I'll be hooking this sauce up. I just put some sriracha in it today. Shout out to Brittany, BC Kool-Aid, and Lisa's daughter. She told me to try that sriracha. I tried it. I love it. It's hot. I put some in here. Cut me up because I had this in the freezer. Y'all know B-Love says it's good when you eat it later. And the, uh, I do be a figure out how to do my tripod, but when I scoot it up a little more with my tall self, Y'all ain't gonna be able to see the food, so we just ain't gonna worry about the head being cut off right now, y'all. Woo, I'm hot. My sister is hot. So let's get into some prayer, y'all, so we can get into this goodness. Let's try and get a thumbnail real quick. Ugh. That wasn't cute. Let it do. Most gracious and heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for yet another beautiful day. We thank you for allowing us up in our right minds with good health and just life, Lord. Lord, we ask you to just continue to love us and wrap your arms around us and continue to do whatever it is you're doing to heal this world, Lord. We know it's all on your time, Lord Jesus. We ask you to touch the people that's not listening right now, Lord Jesus. Make them understand that if they don't continue to do what it is to keep us all safe, Lord, this thing will never pass, Lord. So we just got to trust in you because we know that it's all your will and your way. We know you will get the victory in the end as well as we will. We thank you and we love you. Lord, I ask you to continue to protect my family and friends near and far, my YouTube family and friends, Lord. Just keep them comforted. Keep their minds in the right places, Lord. Uh, release stress from them, Lord. Show us how not to be stressed out during a time like this. I know it's easier said than done, Lord. Keep our minds on positive things, Lord. Keep the Holy Spirit of positivity surrounding us, Lord Jesus. And anybody who's lost anybody right now, Lord, send them some comfort and strength and some understanding, Lord, that it's going to be all right and that they're in a better place and that we're going to have to learn how to live life without them, even though their spirits are still surrounding us, Lord. Lord, I thank you for providing. I thank you for loving me. I thank you for forgiving us for our sins. Let this food be a nourishment to my body. Let it not bring no hurt or harm my way. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So, yeah, yeah, I got some H2O. My mama brought me some cute straws. She brought me an air fryer, y'all. It's just been a good day. Ooh. Ooh, y'all, hold on. I got to plug this mic. I'm sorry. All right, family, we back. Let's get it in. How y'all doing? What y'all having? Let me know. Let me know. Got me a little bag right there. So, yeah, y'all. My brother found these for me at Kroger's. It's grimy, but they do. Mmm. That sounds hot. I'm going to spill that all on my chest.
Mic check, mic check, one, two. <laughs> Hope y'all can hear me good. But yeah, I hope y'all doing good. It's been a chill weekend for me. As always. <clears throat> Ooh, that's hot. Nothing spectacular goes on with me, y'all. And if it do, I'll let y'all know. <laughs> It'd be stuff like getting a new gadget. <laughs> Waking up to see another day. Those be the things I get excited about. Mm-hmm. I wanted to um cook my seafood in the oven, but I ain't got the right type of pan yet. I gotta get me a good pan. I ain't had no uh bag. Look at that, y'all. That's good and thick and good. Oof. Mm -mm. It's hot too. Mmm. Mmm. That's fresh corn, y'all. Got that from Wally World, Walmart. Yes, Lord. Missing my seafood, y'all. And I sat here for a minute, like, am I gonna eat today? Cook something simple? What? But I just did it in the process of me cleaning. It didn't take that long. Got me some good, nice ass shrimp from Walmart. I tried that Walmart pickup, and a couple things that I ordered they didn't have in the size that I ordered, you know, the smaller size. So I lucked up and got a big bag of shrimp. Got like 30 of them in there. I was excited. I ordered a um, small thing of sriracha. They didn't have the small one, so they gave me the big one. I was like, okay, then Walmart. Showing out, baby. Mm-hmm. So... I definitely will do it again. I was pleased with the services. Mm-hmm. Everything went all right. I missed y'all. I hope everybody's doing good. I did a challenge, y'all. If y'all haven't checked it out yet, it's called the So What Challenge. My girl mukbang thing, she created it. Beautiful challenge, y'all. Y'all need to check it out. Check out mine's, check out mukbang's thing. A couple people did it. I'm sure you could just type it in and it'll pop up in the search box. But that's one of them challenges that needs to go viral. Real talk. I enjoyed it. So thank you, mukbangs and things, for bringing it to the community. Positivity over everything, baby. Yes, sir. Congrats again to little Gilmo. He hit 7K. 
congrats to us on the road to 4K. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know how long this video is going to be. Yeah, I know I try not to make them too long, but it's kind of hard to not do that with seafood boils. So, y'all yeah, bear with me, and I appreciate it so much. I ain't grab no scissors. Uh, mm. That's the aggravating part. When you want all that good meat to come out real nice and it don't <laughs> I know they say when you bake it it do and when you don't cook it that long it do Yeah, I'm sorry I keep scooting this table towards me, but I do not need this sauce to get on my carpet. Mm -mm. This is cucumber so good. Mm. Got some nice sized shrimps. Mm-hmm. Put out some of that. Some of that. So good, y'all. Yeah. So good. Nothing like them good old onions, y'all. Yeah. Got to have the onions. With that B Love Smack Alicious. Only thing I haven't tried is the um ginger. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that mess. <laughs> mm. We need a beer with these seafood boys. Mm. Mm. Nothing like that fresh corn, y'all. Let's taste a piece of this sausage. This turkey sausage, I just seared it up a little bit in the skillet. That's all. Mm hmm. Got us some eggs. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Some people do not be feeling the eggs and the seafood bowl. I'd be like, what? Eat one of these potatoes. I ain't really trying to mess with them, though. Because I don't want to get full fast.
gotta be careful. That sauce hit you in the back of the throat. Mm. And I call myself not even cooking a lot today, y'all. It just always seems like it's a lot. Like I only cooked it like six shrimps. Them two clusters. And the sausage and eggs. <clears throat> I really wanted some rice, but I don't like cooking rice unless it's the rice in the bag. <laughs> You know, less stress. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, this corn is sweet and good. Mm -mm -mm. No corn left behind. <laughs> Bless me. <clears throat> I said salvage y'all. So I went live yesterday for a little bit. I was playing music inside my house. <clears throat> Bless me. No corona here, y'all. I don't go nowhere. But I was playing music, and I didn't think you could hear it, you know, because I was on the porch. But they copyright me. But they got these new options. Where it says something like I can take it out, or cover it up, or do something. So I pushed that option. Still waiting on them to get back with me. See if they're gonna monetize it. But if not, oh well. Sometimes you gotta get like a you know, I like a little music when I'm chilling. Y'all feel me? So but you know you do gotta be careful with that. Me, me crazy, y'all. <laughs> I had to tell y'all. We done fell out. <laughs> she crazy. My niece got a lover. Gotta love them, y'all. <laughs> mm. I be trying to get that thing out there right. Don't want to work right. Y'all can have that piece. I did get a little piece out for y'all. Y'all can have that. I 
I'll be trying to clean up as I go, because when you get done with this, you ain't trying to clean up nothing. Not me. This stuff gets you full, man. Oh, I did find me some lobsters on sale, too. Two little lobsters, so. Y'all know the only time. I tried lobster was a while ago when they had the, uh, My bad, y'all. Let me head to <laughs> blindfold seafood challenge. And yeah, it was a bad experience. I think it was because I was blindfolded. It was my first time cooking lobster. I don't think I cooked it right. I boiled it or something. I don't know. It just didn't hit the spot for me. So I watched Flavors by Dame Dash, how he cooked his in the oven. So I'm going to try to follow suit on that. Excuse me. And hopefully I like them this time. You dig? Because people be loving lobster. And the way y'all be eating it, it look good. But I'm a texture type of person, man. I'm real heavy on the texture. Mm -hmm. Heavy, heavy on the texture. I just can't eat seafood every day. I like it. I love it. But not every day. Mm -mm. Plus, I waters my butter down, down. Like, I might use two, three sticks the most. And the rest be water. Or if I have some chicken broth. But that'd be mostly onions and garlic, y'all be seeing. That butter be too heavy. It gets you full fast, too. Mm, mm, mm. Crazy, I'm getting full, y'all. Yeah. But I'm the type when I have leftover seafood. I take the potatoes and shrimp and all that, whatever's left, warm it up, put a little sauce on it, add some cheese to it. I be done through it, made a pasta. I be done did some things with it. I don't play. Waste not, want not, baby. Oh, got a little something going on, baby. Let y'all get that. Oh, I don't want to drip. Can I get it? <laughs> mm.
I hate biting this with my teeth because Lord knows my teeth too sensitive for this. You got potato. Them peppers are different, y'all. Mm. I'm talking about refreshing. Plus, it won't go to waste. My brother eat this. He don't eat the crab, but he'll eat everything else. Yeah, I've been watching little documentaries on YouTube, uh, like from the third world, and just little stuff about. Uh, one of them was called, I think it's called "Long, Long Roads, Long Ways to Get to School." Oh my God, y'all! It just, I just got a whole lot of respect for them different places, man. It make you really tighten up on your, uh, and appreciate what you got going on, man. Them babies was walking miles, y'all. I'm talking about three hours. These two sisters, then they got to walk through woods and jungles. Oh, my God, y'all. I felt so bad for them, but it was what they had to do because, you know, their parents want them to get some education because they didn't. I was so scared. This one family... The son, he couldn't have been no more than eight or nine, y'all. And in order to get, it was him and his little brother that went to school in the fancy part of the, where they live at. Not fancy, but I guess the richer part. Because the teacher, his teacher and her helper would, they lived in the, you know, wealthy kind of part. And they would have to travel and go to the school and stay there for that week. So, anyway. Y'all, the little boy and his brother and daddy, they live like, you know, like in the woods, you know, like, you know, y'all, why they had the zip line, and this zip line was 30 years old, mind you, number wire, over some thousand feet in the air, from one side, like where they house is, to the other side, that was the only way they can get to the school. So the daddy would usually wrap the little boy up on him. And, you know, they would zip line down, down. Now the little boy getting older, he, daddy, and the daddy got to hold the little brother. So he told him, you know, you about to have to do it on your own. That little boy was so courageous, had so much courage, y'all. Oh, my God. It was just so crazy. It just really make you appreciate where you at in life. Even though we be thinking we got it bad, y'all. I couldn't imagine. I just couldn't imagine having to live like that. You know what I'm saying? Then, bound traveling like that and then being hungry. I felt so bad for the three little sisters. It was like, a, I think one was probably 11, one was probably eight, nine. And the little sister probably was like five, y'all. They used to have to take a boat, walk, the, uh, walk through the jungle. Take the boat. And then some days, you know, if it rained and the current and stuff like that. And then they had to do that there and back, y'all. So sometimes they would have to get home right before it turned dark.
like be gone away from home for 13 hours, half of their day is spent traveling, trying to get to school, that they're going to be at school for about three, four hours. Y'all, it was just so crazy to me. I've never seen nothing like it in my life, ever. It make you just have a lot more respect for them people, them kids. Just that part of the world, you know? Because we be complaining, like, about the craziest stuff. Who, Lord, forgive us. But I like them little documentaries, even though they so sad. Them kids were so happy to get to school and see other kids because, you know, where they was living at, there really wasn't no kids. They didn't get to have fun and stuff until they went to school because at home they had to work. They had to help their mama, you know. The daddy left them. Ooh, it was sad. I watched a couple of them, though, a couple different ones. It was deep. Mm -mm -mm. What time is it? Oh, we've been on here almost 30 minutes. Well, family, give me one more shrimp. I hope y'all enjoyed the conversation and the show and <laughs> my crazy self. Welcome to anybody that's new. I should have said that in the beginning. I apologize. I was just so hot and ready to eat. I'm sorry, y'all, but welcome. Thank y'all for giving us a chance. Don't forget to share us with the world, y'all, so we can grow together and love on each other. Mm-hmm. Oh, I already had a piece of potato right here. Yeah, I'm full, y'all. I mean, some of this cucumber. Don't even make no sense to have a seafood boil for me. I'm always get too full. Mm-hmm. But they be so good. Alrighty, family. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share our videos on your social media with your neighbor, with your cousin, with your friends. Y'all, please stay safe out here. Don't go out if you don't have to. And if you do, strap up. You know how they say strap up? Strap up, bundle up. Do everything you got to do to prevent yourself and your family and friends from being affected. You know what I mean? Affected by this or anything. Because it's very important, y'all, because as we see, a lot of people, are, states are getting opened back up and folks just going crazy, losing their minds with them little stimulus checks. Couldn't wait to go spend their little money. But I'm just going to keep praying for the world, y'all. We all got to. Not just ourselves. We got to pray for everybody. I love y'all so, so much. Y'all already know who we riding with. Who we riding with, family? We riding with the angels. Mm, 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 mm. Peace, love, and blessings to you. Peace, love, and blessings to you. You right there in the back. And you too. I love y'all so much. Oh, 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 oh,